Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 and I'm going to show you how to use the Gutenberg block for WooCommerce product table plugin. This is a free add-on for our premium only WooCommerce product table plugin. If you're using the Gutenberg editor on your WordPress site, then it provides a new Gutenberg block which makes it easy to add product tables anywhere on your site. Once you've used the block, you'll have a user-friendly product table or order form like this one. It's super flexible and you can choose which columns to include. You can add filters and a search box and much more. And your customers will be able to buy from you much more quickly than using the standard layouts that come with WooCommerce itself. I'll show you how to use it. Here we have a normal page on a WordPress site which uses the default Gutenberg editor. To add the product table block, you go to the add block plus symbol at the top and you either scroll down to the WooCommerce section where you will find the WooCommerce product table block or you can search for it as well and it will come up. So you find the block and then you click on it and it will add this block editor to the Gutenberg editor and you can write text above and below it. You can add multiple product table blocks to the same page if you want to say list a different category in each table and so on. So I'll just do that to show you that you can add something above the table. So in the block, by default, it will show the table columns and all the other settings uh, from your global WooCommerce product table settings page. So if you set options globally on the settings page, these will be inherited by each of your blocks. And the block will, by default, list all of the products in your store. You can then change that directly in the block. So to choose your columns, if you haven't done this globally on the settings page, you click add column and you can choose from the list of available columns. So the common ones might be the product name. So you select it and click add the short description. Um, let's have an image column, a price column. And importantly, if you want to be selling from the order form layout, you want an add to cart button. And you can also add more advanced columns such as custom fields, taxonomies, attributes, and so on. And these are all documented in the WooCommerce product table documentation. So once you've created your columns, you can think about the order. Well, normally you'd put the image column first, so you can use these little dots to reorder it. And you can also uh, rename the columns if you choose. So click on the little pencil and you can call that one say summary yeah so that shows me that I've renamed the column and I might want to change add to cart to buy as well so that will change the columns that we see in our product table and you can also choose specific products that you want to list if you don't want to list your whole store in my store you can see I've got 74 products which is quite a lot so let's just choose products from a particular category there are lots of ways that you can choose which products to include. Again, they're all documented in the knowledge base and I'm going to choose a category and then it's going to list my product categories and I'm just going to choose clothing and click add. If I wanted to, I could collect, um, select additional categories and add them as well. So let's say I wanted to show all products from the clothing and the music categories. I would then select um, a music category and add that there. So there's, um, you can add multiple selections and you can also then go on to add other types of um, product as well so let's say i only want to do the ones from the year 2020 or something like that that's an option as well but i don't want to do that so i'll get rid of it so we've got our column selected we've chosen products from a particular category and then don't forget that there are also settings in the block uh, settings in the gutenberg sidebar a lot of people overlook that but there's other settings there so you can choose your add to cart button style, either inherit it from the global settings page, or you can choose a button, checkbox, or both. And you can choose whether or not to enable quantities within your add to cart column. Of course, these options will only work if you've actually added the add to cart column. And you can choose how variations are dealt with as well, either listing them as separate rows or as drop downs within the add to cart column. Um, you can add filters above the table, so for example, I might want to, um, if I had category columns or something, then I could display that automatically using this option, but I don't. So I'm going to write category in, actually categories up there. 
And again, that is documented. There's a read more link. So if you want to get the syntax right, just look at the knowledge base. And finally, there's also loads more options in WooCommerce product table that are not here. And if you click on this link, you can see all the options and add further options. So if I had loads of products and I wanted to enable the lazy load option, for example, I would write lazy load equals true and into this box and that would enable lazy load so that I wouldn't have any performance problems, pro uh, problems from the number of products in my table. So I've selected all the options from my Gutenberg block. If I wanted to, I could add additional product table blocks below. You can have as many as you want anywhere on your site. I'm gonna update that and show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna to go to the page and refresh it. This is the block that I just created and you can see the introductory sentence that I added above the block. And then you can see the product table that I created using the block, which is here. So we've got the exact columns that I chose, the renamed columns. We've got the filters that I added for categories, we've got variation drop downs for any variable products. And it's a nice one page order form created really simply. You can get the free Gutenberg block for WooCommerce product table plugin from wordpress.org. And if you're not already using WooCommerce product table itself, then you'll need to get that from barn2.co.uk. The plugin comes with full support, so feel free to get in touch with any questions. And thanks for watching.